guys welcome back to another episode of no man's sky so today i wanted to continue some of those base missions uh we should maybe have some more unlocked i got to the point where i think we're past what i've done on my my personal save so uh, i remember having to go to a, a new station and i haven't done that yet so i we did that yesterday I'm not sure if we get to continue that or if I did that already, but there might be another time. I'm not sure, but I just wanted to check the Fighters Guild and see what we can donate here. Pirate Transmitter or Transponder. That, um, we should actually have a few of those, shouldn't we? I'm not sure if it's on our ship. No, it must be in our storage container uh, back at the base. I did pick up um, some tech modules that we can sell for some nanites, by the looks of it. We probably won't use these. Proton cannon, actually. Um, or photon, not proton. <laughs> um, yeah, we could probably install that, I guess. Move that over one. That's like an upgrade for it, so... Firing rate and heat distribution, plus three and plus three, so... Got a little bit of a boost there, not much, but still something. And we can sell the other one, I don't plan on using it, so... Can just go to one of these merchants and get rid of it. Trade it in for some nanites and then that can go towards something that we need later on. So, oh, and another thing that we ha we can do here is we can swap that ship out uh, that we got repaired the other day. And we can actually do this on the station now. Uh, this is brand new with this last update. And it updates our ship over there. And before you couldn't do that on space stations. You would actually have to go to your freighter and swap out or uh, go to a planet and then take off and then come to the station. But now you can just like repair your ship at your base or whatever and then you can basically go to the space station and then swap it out through the uh, spawn tool thing which is a really nice feature I was it makes it so much easier now because now we can easily pick and choose our uh, shuttles and stuff for the analyzer so um, okay we can begin sca scrap analyst and we can extract some parts Oh, what parts do we have to offer for that? Cockpit, wings, and engine. Hmm. Thank you. 
Alright, so we're back at our base, and uh, I just checked our ship, and it is docked at the, um, what do you call it, the uh, landing pad. So we don't need to worry about it spawning in front of our, uh, our, our structure now before it was obstructing our way in and out of the base. So it's nice to have that landing pad finally. Um, one of the things that I wanted to unlock, which costs a little bit of... Um, building tech, I think it's like 10 points, is a refiner, like a level 2 refiner, and what that can do is a little bit more um, combinations, like it has two slots and stuff, it's not like the basic refiner that we have like here where it can only refine one thing, it also doesn't require energy or fuel, so I don't know if we can actually unlock that or if there's like pre like pre things that we need to um, do to unlock it, but while we're here at the base, uh, we might as well see what the computer has for us. It looks like we still have recovery missions. Uh, iteration lost, unavailable, possible to remote terminals, follow coordinates. I thought we did that already. Coordinates required. Okay, this is actually quite new for me. I'm not sure. Off-world, archive, base computer, galaxy map. Um, maybe we have to go to different systems now? I'm not sure. In that case, we might as well continue some other missions. Because I'm pretty sure that's what it told us to do yesterday. But, um... I could be wrong. Um, well, you know what? While we're here, uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and grab those tech modules. And we can go to space and go on to the space anomaly. And might as well trade in... See, I don't want to really part with the bolt blaster thing, but these, these things we can. Uh, these are just uh, shield modules for... Our exosuit. We don't really need those. And I did. I chose the cockpit for the um, that hauler that we repaired. Uh, there wasn't any other parts that I really wanted for the um, the engines or th the uh, wings. There was actually no wings, so I didn't really want that. I um, wanted and the thrusters aren't my favorite either. So I just went with the cockpit. Alright, so I've traveled to a few different space stations in seeking a tech module specifically for our shield. Uh, class S, um, what is it? Can't purchase any more at the moment, but um, I think they refresh every day or so. Maybe every week, I'm not sure. But uh, Starship Shield module, um, it costs a pretty penny. But um, it's well worth it. It gives us 30% extra um, protection. 
And we're going to need that because um, we're going into our fifth jump. If we go to our um, discoveries, you can see we have four systems here. And that means the fifth one, every five jumps, we have encounter a, um, a space battle. And it doesn't matter what number of jumps you've done or what system or anything like that it's just like every five you will encounter a um basically a battle which you can claim a freighter now the first freighter that we claim uh we get for free and i read wiki for my personal save because i wanted to know a little bit more about it and uh the first two um Freighters that are offered, so jump 5 and jump 10, um, will be just regular standard freighters, or, yeah, freighters, which are okay, they're low tier usually, where the um, 15th jump gives you a uh, capital ship, or capital freighter, which is like way better in stats it's more exclusive it has it's generally larger than the other ones and it's just really nice like these ones are based on uh, i think warhammer one of their ships like for big big ships and there's one also based on um i think star wars i can't remember what um it's called but it's uh one of those uh big ones as well and then i think there's a pirate one that you might also have I can't remember how that one's like. I haven't ever come across any pirate ship or pirate freighters, so I don't know if that's only triggered through the um, missions. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, we can always do more, and I think it's every 15 or whatever we get a capital one. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I know the 15th jump we will have an option for that. So I'm not going to claim any freighters up until that point and just continue jumping with our ship, and that should. Um, be good, but I need to make sure that we have enough, you know, shield strength, and uh, sometimes they can... Alright guys, so I got to one of our destinations for that um, base computer thing. This is a different location, but it was something similar. Um, I was flying around for a while and I uh, got coordinates for a... Where is it? 
ruins right over there ancient ruins it's on another planet so we might explore that next episode and see what we can come up with but um yeah those things this kind of building is really spooky it's all worn down there's slime everywhere you have to be careful where you're going and stuff as there's like vines and stuff that can harm you but um outside of that we got quite a bit of stuff done today we got that base computer thing we upgraded our ship shield module and though we jumped five times it didn't actually give us the opportunity to uh, do a space battle it might be because this system is a low level threat level like it doesn't it's only like level one if we go to the system discoveries and back out one you can see the conflict uh, is relaxed it's on a level one so I, maybe that has something to do with it I don't know but um, it was still interesting for um, not having it happen because wiki says it happens every five right so anyhow um, maybe it'll be on our next one we don't know uh, but we will take a look and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out